and defeating Leicester by three goals to one. Uh, elsewhere, also in action, um, of course, off the back of that draw against Spurs, taking on Brentford, who've laboured a little bit. Oh, apparently Frank watched it. Frank didn't watch this game. He was having dinner. And... How can he? How can, <laughs> how, how, how many phones did he take? How, to how, can, how can he eat tomato bisque, <laughs> tomato bisque, <laughs> steak and chips, and a, and a, and a strawberry strawberry oh. flange, and watch all these games? Frank, no way you watch this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like women. I'm a multitask guy, you know. I can have a conversation, right. have a meal, and watch two games in a, at the same time, you know, and 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 and, and share it with you. No, no, no problem. Uh, that was perfect. I watched Liverpool against Leicester City. So if you want to talk about it, no problem. If you don't want to talk about it, no, go on then. More, talk no about problem. it. <laughs> Did he blindfold all these all the people that he no, was dining no. with? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was an interesting game in the way that I like the rhythm of the game and the pace of the game. Uh, Leicester is not that far from the Premier League, so we could see that uh, they still had that, uh, that power and that uh, strength. Uh, but Liverpool came back as uh, bigger, stronger, and they made a di difference, I would say, normally. Uh, and it was just, just justified that uh, they scored three goals and they, and they won. But we didn't, you talked about the, the red card maybe for Chelsea. You didn't talk the, uh, for the elbow from Jones in the first half. Uh, no. Maybe it could have been showed, you know, and maybe decided otherwise by Ref, and maybe it would have changed uh, the result. Uh, of the acquisitions that Liverpool have made. Can't wait to the next meal. <laughs> <laughs> Four games on. I'm going to be not right. Okay. Four games on the next meal. There's no chairs. Uh, there's just yeah. just TVs. Uh, Supper slides good. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. That's I, I don't know. I was having a meal. That, well, you saw the goal. It's a good goal, uh, and you've seen him play this season. No, he's, he's he is a Rolls Royce of a midfielder. He's the captain of Hungary. Uh, he's got a great touch. He's got good physicality. Good range of passing, can score a goal. He has looked, put it one way, when you go to a new club, big club, new league, you know, not that it's, I'm not saying, oh, the Premier League's difficult and you can't play, but sometimes it takes a little bit of time just to find your feet and adapt. The one thing I'd say about this player is from the minute he's pulled that Liverpool jersey on, he's looked comfortable, yeah. he's looked classy, and he's looked like he's been there all the time. And, He's been a great signing for them and he gives them a little bit of everything in the middle of the park. But that goal, that goal was special. He, he can strike a ball, that lad. OK, now let's go to Brentford against Arsenal. Frank was watching this Frank one. Watches. Welcome back to another video. This is the Football Connect. I'm your host, Sam, and we are back again with another one. So yesterday, as you can hear from those guys who were just talking, Liverpool played Leicester City. The game ended by three goals to one. And yes, there were some unfortunate events this should have been a very game a long time ago. Liverpool should have won this game easy. But we always like to make things difficult for ourselves. Again, from losing position, we won the game in the last minute. But as you hear, the topic of the whole game is Dominic Soberslai. Where did we get this kid, man? Now I think we need to do some research. We need to find where Liverpool got this game because what he is doing. And we are not talking about any other league. We are talking about the Premier League. This guy comes into the Premier League, makes the whole league his own. So many players come to a new league and they always struggle to get going. That's why usually you see them being signed by small team, smaller teams before they go to the elite, the big teams. But this guy comes in from Germany, come in and takes the iconic jersey of a, of a club legend in Liverpool in Stevie Gerrard. And he makes it his own. The way he striked that goal. I actually felt sorry for the goalkeeper. I thought maybe if the guy had put his hands on him, on that ball, he was going to be taken out with an injury, injury on his hands or something. Dominic is something else. And I'm telling you, he's a Royce Royce of a player like what Craig was saying. And I believe as much as people are trying by almost to deny and say that he's not the signing of the summer, I feel like class will show itself. At the end of the day, some people have to join in. It starts with us, the Liverpool fans, talking about it, but you will see as time continues, the rivals will actually accept. He is good, man. He is good. Wow. 